And when you're done. So, what are the best features of this boat? Well, it's comfortable. It's uh, perfect for going to Catalina, which is an island here in California that's about probably 25 to 30 miles off the coast. Um, it's got a CB that works great, uh, extended antenna. It's got all the alarm systems. It, it's got um, a 454 Merc Cruiser motor with a, a Bravo 2 outdrive, if you know what that is. Um, these seats right here that you're seeing, these actually f fold out to a bed on both sides. So you can actually use them to lay out in the sun if you want to or go to sleep on them. Uh, also this, uh, this chair right here, it folds down into the seat that it does. And then it also folds back up. And you can see the legs. You pop the legs back in, bring this off, and it, it folds back. Do you, do you want me to go ahead and fold it back up, or do you want to keep it down? Okay. So when you, you take the you take the back off like this, you fold this up like this, put the legs in, and um, there's two straps on the side here that you bring around and you snap to hold it hold it in place. Then you lift this up. You can see the rail on the back side. Basically, just fit it in there like that, and there you go. And then on these chairs here, this is uh, really easy. Basically, there's a clip right here, and there's two two tightening screws on the side that hold these solid. You undo the little clip right here underneath between the chairs, and it comes down. And it actually makes into a bed or a nice lounge chair for somebody to uh, sunbathe in. And that does that on the captain's side as well, yes? Yes, on the captain's side as well. So you literally have two beds. This thing is, is uh, it says in the brochure that it sleeps uh, two, four adults comfortably, uh, two, um, possibly a, one couple and then two single people. <laughs> It's got plenty of storage all over the place. Uh, there's storage underneath the underneath the two chairs. You can see the you can see the double doors. They come out. You also have storage underneath here. It basically lifts up there. There's a bunch of storage there. Not. You also have a step on each stair, on each chair that comes out. So you can actually step on that and be a little higher so you can see over the bow. And they fold in easy. And then there's storage under here. Now this store, storage goes all the way back about another, probably three and a half, four feet back. And that's on both sides by the captain's chair and by the deal. Now the captain's chair also has this step that he can step on. And it also has another storage deal under here that goes all the way back in there about another, probably another four feet. And that step, step helps you see over the... Yeah, you can step up on it so you, when you're docking, you can see up and over the bow. Because, the, the, you know, this boat is, uh, is tall and you need to really see. So this helps you to stand up and see. Of course, the behemoth top, you can pull it off completely so you can literally see, you can see way above then. And these are the two cab cabin doors, basically. And you unsnap them. This one goes like this. Take the two snaps off over here. It comes in and connects there. And this is in case you, if you do sleep in here, you just lock it here. And if you notice, there's another lock in here that can be locked so nobody can just come in sleeping in here. So it's just easy enough to strap strap it back. And then of course you've got your you got your sink, you got your radio, AM FM cassette. Now uh, I you know I do have a CD player that will fit in that. It happens to be a Sony also. I have time to do that. And then here's a an alcohol um, stove. 
And basically the way you do that is you, um, I don't know what I just did, but I did something. Anyway, you take that out and here are the, uh, the screw off tops of the alcohol and you just fill it up with the, with the alcohol on both sides and then basically light it with a, um, and it'll show you here an on and off switch. And it's good for cooking or heating, you know, if you're out on a cold night in the, on the ocean or wherever you're at, uh, this can actually act as a heater also. Uh, we do have a refrigerator here. Refrigerator's down here. And it's, um, you know, not, not too big, but enough for a weekend or something if you really want it. Hopefully you're going out to dinner or doing something like that. And then here also is the... Uh, is this is the outside electrical from outside you plug it into a house you know a land uh, landline and then here's your plugs that you can plug in there is a microwave that goes with this uh, it's not in here right now but it will come with it and usually what I do with it as I set it right on top of the stove and uh, also there's a generator that comes with this it's a 1000 gas generator and basically I sit it back there and turn it on and basically it, uh, it's quite really quiet too. You can't hear it at all hardly. Okay, this is the bathroom. It's got a porta, porta potty in here and you basically these items they come apart and that's how you drain it. You, you, there's a lever on the side that disconnects the two pieces and then you take the one piece out that has the waste in it and then you go empty it in your toilet. And then the, the upper one has uh, water a water valley in it that actually you fill up with the you know blue water you know and it, it it has a flusher on it and it's in the back you just push on it and it puts fresh water into it this here is the um is where your main controls are for behind your um out where your controls are all your gauges you know all your speedometer cable your your um, um any gauge that you have uh, where the captain's chair is, it's all represented right here, which is easy access to, to fixing it, taking it out, repairing it, whatever you're going to do. And again, there's a lot of storage in, in, the, in here also. It's got um, underneath, the, underneath here, there's a little storage thing there. And then these also have storage in them also, they go both ways. And there's a little light right here. The light you can turn on in there. It's right up there in the, in the corner. And when you do turn that light on in here at night, this is brightens this place up beyond belief. And you do have all these little lights. There's, there's four of these lights. And um, you know you have this is for your clothes. If you have hanging clothes that you want to take with you, basically um, this is where you're going to put it. And there 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 it's deep. It's very deep down there. But you can hang, uh, you know, a couple, couple of days worth of hang, hanging clothes there so they don't get all wrinkled. Right now we use it for our trash, trash container. And if you see all the, these hatches on the top here, a lot of ventilation. When you open all three of them, you get a lot of ventilation through here. So, because it can get pretty hot in here, you know, if you leave them closed all the time. It also has the, the blinds. Every one of these actually have a blind that is um, that comes down on each side so you have privacy. And in the restroom and here, these windows, the screens actually move. And then you can see these, these you push the screen all the way and these will actually open. And then you, then you put the screen back like that. So you have a little ventilation in here. But I usually leave them open when I'm when I'm just sitting here. But both sides both sides are that way. Just to get a little cross breeze in here. And then uh, underneath the table thing here, there's a lot of storage. You know, all in this front here, this whole area is storage. And this is a. Uh, this bed is, is a pretty large bed. You can sleep two adults comfortably on it. This is what goes on so you can make the bed. It's a table, basically. And it folds up. You can have it two ways. You can have it this way on the pedestal. 
and so you can have your cup holders to make it a smaller table or you can have it up on its leg which makes it a full size table where people can actually sit all the way around this thing it makes it a much larger table and then basically Now in here, these 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 two cushions, they basically, I don't know if you notice, but there's two speakers here also, and they put out some good music actually. But these pillows, when you're done with them, and when they're not down here, you can put up, up in this little cubby hole, that's where these go. And then you've got, you've got storage underneath here, and you've got storage under, identical storage over here. And it's quite a bit of room in there too. You have a little bar. This is where you uh, you can have it, it has uh, it has some cup holders here. Basically, the the cup, and actually you can put a full bottle of wine in here. Bottle of wines fit in three bottles of wine will fit in there. And over here you've got your first aid kit um, and some more storage, and that storage goes you know back to here. So you know usually you can end up using maybe putting clothes in there things like that if you want to have some clothes with you uh, and then underneath here there is um, sorry about the skis by the way the skis do come with the boat and actually all of the life jackets and there's there's approximately eight life jackets in this boat all sizes so I mean to small children to you know about four or five you know big you know, nice size adults my size are bigger basically now this there's also a floaty a big round floaty that you that has the ropes that pull it you can pull it behind the boat and that is more storage for more of these and then we have the basic ones in case you know whatever you have a little kit but this is a big floaty it's a big gigantic donut that you blow up and you you drag it around the boat i'm sure you've seen them they're you know they're a couple hundred bucks for them and I've got another one. Actually, I've got an island that goes with this too. But it's in the garage. It's too big to put in there. I put that in the truck and then we put it on the boat later on. But these are brand new skis also. Never been used. We went out in this skiing one time and we broke our other skis. So, so we've never actually been able to use these. So tell, tell us about the motor. Now the motor is a 454 Merc Cruiser with 330 horses. I just had the outdrive redone. Also had the um, uh, all the hoses on it done. It's got uh, two new batteries in it. And the engine is actually is actually quite clean. As you notice this has got a, a, a strap on it so when you do pull this up you can strap this off and hold it up but it's got two batteries in here both brand new you've got a charging system that is new also that is put on when you have this hooked up to to a land electricity